So in this video, I want to talk about suspending a lamina from a point and then working out an angle that it makes with the vertical. So let's go back to my board protractor. Okay. Now, when we talked about this at the start of this section, uh, we discussed where we thought the centre of mass was going to be. And we figured that the centre of mass would be on the line of symmetry of my protractor, so probably somewhere around about here. Okay, because it's got this um, handle on it, and so that is adding mass, and so the central mass would be quite close to it, we would reckon. Okay, so somewhere probably around about here. Okay, so now let's say that I hang it from the corner. Okay, so I hang it from the corner, and I suspend it like that. Now, what's important to note is the line of action going from the point that I'm suspending it by, vertically downwards, okay? Now, I'm going to try, I'm going to see if this works. So I'm going to try and hang the ruler and the board track at the same time, okay? So what you're seeing here is that the vertical line, the ruler, working its way downwards, will intersect the centre of mass of the protractor. So the centre of mass of the protractor, if it's on the line of symmetry of the protractor, has to be around about there. So it's about there is my centre of mass okay, of the protractor. So that's the important point here, that the vertical that it will make from where your point, where your point of suspension is will intersect your, your centre of mass of the object, of the lamina. So, let's say we have this rectangle, and I suspend it from this point. Let's call that point A. The centre of mass of the rectangle is going to be dead centre here. So if I draw a line from A, okay, so through, then that line if I hung it from that, well, if I hung the lamina from that point, then that would be going straight downwards towards the ground, and it would go through your centre of mass, like so. So, obviously, it's quite difficult to visualise that. So, what you would really be seeing, I'm gonna, this is quite difficult to draw. Here is your point A. And the rectangle looks something, i try and draw it, like this. And your centre of mass is there. So the point is that this is the ruler going straight down and it goes straight through your centre of mass. Now, the question, may well be something like, find the angle that, um, if you suspended it from point A, find the angle uh, of this side of your rectangle to the vertical. Now, on this diagram, what you're seeing is it's that side with the vertical, so you would want this angle here. So let's say that this is uh, 5 centimetres then find the angle that the 5 centimetre side makes with the vertical, and it is that angle that I'm interested in. But we don't want to have to always draw this diagram, because if this is a compound shape, then that can be really difficult to draw. So we don't want to have to draw it on its side and work through it that way. What we want is to locate the point that you are suspending it at, and then draw a line through the centre of mass, and then you can draw a right angle triangle, finding that distance and that distance, and then using arc tan of that opposite divided by the adjacent will give you the angle that you want. Okay, so that is the methodology that we will use to find the angle that we need in these types of problems.